Beautiful, beautiful people. Yet another episode of the Ignite Your Purpose show coming at you live daily on this long weekend broadcast. You know how we do, you know what it is we do. Simply every day we're trying to get better, negative to positive. It's a mix of the mental, physical, and spiritual knowledge, that mind, body, soul trifecta. And every day we're just trying to be better than we were before, making those healthy life decisions because it is in the end about the long haul. Now, what I want to talk to you about is this little saying here. Um, I think I'm pretty sure it's gone on Facebook and done at social media tours from Heath Ledger. And it said something like this. Everyone you meet always ask if you have a career, are you married, or do you own a house? As if that is some kind of grocery list, this thing we call life. But nobody ever asks if any of us is actually happy. And that goes hand in hand with this whole show. Unless we know ourselves, unless we dive deep into ourselves, which none of us are ever taught. So how would we even do that, right? How would we ever think about that in the ever increasing life of social media, technology, you know, keyboard gangsters, um, you know, keyboard activism, people who are well into adulthood, still living at home. They've never been taught better. I don't blame anybody. I don't blame anything. There's no blame here. It's just simply... We don't know ourselves. We don't know our self-value. We don't know our self-worth. We don't know anything. So to ask someone if you're happy, mind-boggling, right? And how I want to get to how this affected me was the other night, we were at a little gathering, a little kind of long weekend gathering, and there was this old sassy bat, old immigrant. Um, I'm, I'm thinking she was in European. She was a, 80s or 90s. And <clears throat> I remember there was this <clears throat> loud talker Right, younger Buck, tell him how he was gonna, you know, change the world, <clears throat> do this, do that. We've all heard them, we've all seen them, we've probably even been there ourselves at a certain point because we're just not mature enough. And <clears throat> he was talking about how he's gonna drive a Ferrari by the age of this, and he's gonna have the house this big, and how many girls and boys and parties he's gonna have, and all this stuff. And I love how this lady reacted. She just said, "That's that's great, but will this make you happy?" And his reaction was, and again, in the world we live in, right, we're so used to just defending ourselves, yelling, you know, really not having any knowledge to why we have our own belief systems. And she shut him up. And her old, you know, broken accent, her old sweet self experience, right, this, this knowledge we all talk about, shut him up like... The way I looked at it anyway was he didn't have a clue what that even meant. What is happiness? We just assume that all these external things, as we always talk about on the show, are going to make us happy. You know, if there's that special number in my bank account or that day I get the paycheck that is this much, we actually think that's going to make us happy. And we've all been, and some of us are probably still, a slave to that. You know, and like Kanye said, we're all slaves to these corporations. You know, I know many, many cats that I work out with, you know, when they get that new pair of, you know, Nikes or that new pair of, whatever, the new pair of whatever, that's going to make them happy. And, and it is true. It might make you happy for that three seconds. No different than checking your social media update or gambling to win money. It's, it's all these secular things that we, we assume is happiness, yet none of us have explored the simplest thing like reading a book on a beach. Is that happiness? Is that relaxation? How does that make us feel? Going on a hike. Little things that are free, you know? Is that happiness? I'm just putting these questions out there. What is happiness? You know, it's... when And when that old lady said that, for me, being as aware as I am, I was like, wow, there's a lady who's at the end of her days. You know, she might have 5, 10, 15 years left, but at the end. And she's been through it all, coming from, you know, old country, across the seas, working her finger to the bone, she has no family around. She has no friends left. She's that age. So what's making her happy? What makes her get up every day? That's where each one of us needs to get to. Why is it that we wake up? Is it just to see a sunrise? Why can't it be? And on that note, on this long weekend, I'm going to leave you with that, people. Let's start doing some internal thinking. You know, once we go inside, that's the only way we can change the outside. Peace and love. And we're going to talk to you soon. Ignite your purpose. Bye-bye.